Hey. Hello everyone, welcome to Domani's house channel. Today I do something different. I'm editing a lot of YouTube movies from my private collection and I went crazy when I'm looking for thumbnails with transparent background. They always say this transparent is transparent but in the end it isn't transparent. So today I will show you how to make for iMovie Maker a transparent shout out picture or whatever. You can do whatever you want. It took me a while to find it out how to do it but in the end I manage it and for me it takes me now for one one minute. I will show you step by step right now the easiest way make your own shout out clip art photo cartoon picture whatever you want is possible okay please stay tuned and if you're new to my channel don't forget subscribe like and comment yep mainly this channel is for my kids they're artists but for this uh, little tip i think it's worth to put this video stay tuned bye so you want to know how to make this or this or this or this stay tuned i will explain <laughs> first step open your browser go i go now for a thinking bubble already here thinking bubble so i choose anyone yeah this one normal they always say already it's uh, fainted it's transparent so uh, many times i use these ones transparent but they're not transparent okay and today i show you how to make them transparent make them make the thing a little bit smaller take the bubble whatever you want i extra show this one right now we go over i push it into my desktop okay it's now here in my desktop As many from my all other old projects. Okay. Yeah. It's in my desktop. Official they say it's transparent. But it isn't transparent. What made drive me crazy and I'm really not a high-tech uh, computer freak, but I figured it out. Yeah. Now you go in my open project. Okay, I wanna put this bubble. This bubble, what they say it's transparent. I want to put in here you see what you see what's happened the bubble is not transparent it still shows and now I teach you how to get rid of this actual trans take it out and delete it delete and go back you need to have Adobe Photoshop this one open it okay I opened it I go to file new then you have a window popping up i choose the 1000 pixels second one open okay it's a blunt white page now then you go here to this little eraser this one here there is three you choose background eraser tool click on it then you go up Yes, beside these three buttons here, yes, should be on 5,000. If you go small, it just makes you one little dot. We want the whole page. So basically what I do is I go here, press, go into 5,000, I press, and you will see the whole page. This is now transparent. This is full transparent page. So you have the base is already done. The next I do, I make my window a little bit smaller. I take the actual transparent cloud here, the thinking cloud, pull it over into that screen. Now it's huge, so I shrink it to my size I want. Okay, bubble should be small. Let's move it up a bit. And now you see there is still around the stuff wait to make it a little bit bigger for you so you can see it more close i go 300 now 300 okay i go full screen now you see the transparent is not transparent so basically you press now enter return okay i press return now so it's set you go back to your eraser tool the eraser tool click on it and you go in here and you click it will ask you a question you just okay 
yeah object just enter okay and now you're free to go now you will see what's happening when I click see it blinds it out go up here all the corners sometimes it needs a few clicks more it's not full but it's basically a work if you fit like me now I do this so often if you fit you do it uh, one like bubble like this or picture whatever you do basically in one minute okay that's it we have the bubble ready I go to file save as I put mine always on the desktop give the baby a name bubble bubble okay I put them on the desktop it's easier because later I was delete them save okay and now we have this bubble we can close this window okay sit down we have this bubble here this is the original the unknown the one non-transparent and there we have our bubble uh, sorry and there we have our bubble so I open iMovies again go to iMovies I open iMovies again and now I just move this a little bit over just go here I take my bubble and I put it wherever I want my bubble okay let's put it here there's my bubble and you will see there's the bubble here's the bubble yeah, here's the bubble no surroundings no nothing okay you can type in the bubble okay see there's my old projects I have here is the bell the YouTube bell I put it here okay you see non-transparent the YouTube bell okay, let's delete and the YouTube arrow non-transparent if I put it here see no transparent delete but I combine it to one project I put them together here but I combine into one project like this I make them big small you see same background that's the arrow that's the bell close it so I take my arrow and my bell on my desktop push it over here put it there and what you have here is see arrow and bell climbing in right I let it play for you let's go big what you see now here you see the arrow and the bell will pop up there we go clean so simple okay I think it was an easy step by step and you can do this with anything any picture or whatever you just put it over on the white page make the white page transparent and then just erase maybe you need a few clicks sometimes because the transparency is not full there and that, that's all if you want to get more fine you took the 5000 you make it smaller and you can make whatever you want all my videos I use now my own and it takes me now one minute to make one so I hope it's a big help to you if you like the video please subscribe like and comment and don't forget to hit the bell this channel is mainly for uh, Domani's family we are artist family so maybe you like it stay tuned thank you bye